During this video segment, I will give you a general overview of curriculum track for TFT and curriculum track light for TFT. Notice the expanded menu of the full version at the top here and the limited version, our menu of the light version below here. So we're gonna start by taking a look at the light version for TFT. There are two main features that really differentiate TFT version versus a non-TFT version, and those are the deep hopes and storylines, as well as designing a flex for one of your units. So let's start with the deep hope and storylines. Notice there are two storylines for this particular teacher. I'm gonna go ahead and click on one of my storylines. And uh, when I do that, notice that it opens up that storyline where I can see the deep hope that I have, as well as the storyline, as well as the images and artifacts that go along with that storyline. Those can be videos or they, and or they could be vid, uh, pictures or images. These images can have captions, which you see at the bottom, and they can also have descriptions. So if I click on one of these, notice here's the picture, the caption, and the full description. And I can move through those pictures from one picture to the next. And when I'm all done, I simply click on the X and I'm back where I started. The second item that I wanna talk about is how you can design a flex for one of your units. So let's go to unit and uh, sixth grade science is the course I'd like to take a look at. And notice I currently have three science units entered. The first one is a changing earth earthquakes. So let's go ahead and click on that. And notice it shows the deep hope and storyline for this particular course. And you can, again, view those artifacts if you wanted to by clicking on this icon right here. Um, notice the fields that are here. And for TFT, or for the light version of curriculum track for TFT, there are these fields that you can enter content in for your particular uh, unit. And that may change over time, but um, nonetheless, it's gonna be a very simple unit design. If you wanna make a unit or design a flex for one of for this particular unit you simply click on this checkbox and click save that's why these two units here have asterisks on them these are denoted as a flex unit so if i click on that notice it shows those same three fields at the top but then below you see that i can design a flex for this unit by entering in the other content here. So this is using a template that was provided to us uh, by the TFT staff. The next item that I wanna show you is the other curriculum area. And so I can go to Deep Hopes and Storylines. And if I wanted to, I could search for Deep Hopes and Storylines from teachers in a particular school. You can also search by keywords. Um, that'll search against the course name, the Deep Hope, as well as the storyline. You can also filter it by grade. I'm gonna just click search because we don't have very many in here so far. And notice it lists the um, name of the Deep Hope storyline. It has the full Deep Hope written out, the storyline or storylines, as well as you can click view if you wanna view this from another teacher. So I'll click on this one right here. Um, the school is Foundation Demo School in Waupon, Wisconsin. Here's their Deep Hope, here's their storyline, and then notice the artifacts below here for this particular teacher that I can run through. I can also go to other curriculum and go to formational learning experiences. And again, I could filter it by district, I could filter by grade. I could also enter in a keyword for that, um, <clears throat> that flex or I could enter or type in one of the, the through lines if I wanted to. So if I click on this, it'll show me my search results. And so if I open this particular unit, which is, um, made a, has a flex attached to it, uh, notice it gives my deep hope and storyline and then gives the full unit content, uh, including all the flex components. I also have an admin area um, in the uh, lighter version where you can enter in or upload or edit your courses, your users. There's also an announcements area. If you want to write on your dashboard, have different announcements showing up. 
Uh, you can do that as well. If you want to learn more about that, just go to the help manual. And if you go to special tasks, you'll notice that there is a video on dashboard and announcements. So that'll explain the announcements tool for you if you want to learn more about that. You also have the ability, like I just showed, to go to your help manual specifically for uh, TFT support. Um, you also have the ability here to enter support tickets. So that gives you an overview of the light version of curriculum track for TFT. Now let's take a quick look at the full version. So you see kind of what the difference is between the two. So if I go to the full version, um, notice it's an expanded menu. Um, I'm gonna really highlight the items here that weren't in the light version. So if I go to maps as an example, I'll go to second grade science. Notice instead of only looking at one unit at a time, like what the units does, this allows me to see all of my maps, all of my units on one document in a map, um, curriculum map like this. And then you can close this or open this if you wanna expand it or contract it. All these fields here are completely customizable for a full version. Um, you also have the ability to attach to uh, a standards database, whether those be national standards or state standards or whatever the case might be. So let's continue to work across here. You can also um, use a fully functioning lesson planner within the full version of Curriculum Track. So if I go to lessons, this is my weekly planner where I can enter in uh, all of my lessons plans for the weeks for all of my courses. Um, and there's a lot of different tools in here that we don't have time to get into. Uh, the standards database. Uh, with Curriculum Track, you have access to thousands and thousands of lists of standards, uh, national standards and um, state standards, and just so many different standards within here that you can view as well. So those were just the advanced placement as an example. Uh, the other curriculum is uh, expanded. You have the ability to see deep hopes and storylines as well as um, formational learning experiences of other TFT schools. But you also have the ability to search course maps from uh, about a thousand other faith-based schools in the curriculum track network. You have the ability to look at uh, and search unit plans of other teachers within as well. Notice there's well over a million different uh, units from teachers from faith-based schools that you can search for. So if you want to search for, for instance, a unit on ecosystems, you could do that and um, narrow it down from the one point, almost two million down to looks like still about a thousand units. Let's go to reports, lots of different reports here. I'm just gonna highlight a couple. If you wanna look at a scope and sequence, so I wanna look at science as an example and see um, all our science courses, um, K through 12, and I can see uh, what's being taught when. I can click on any of these if I wanna look at that unit a lot closer. Um, another report that I wanna highlight here is the view curriculum by template field. So for instance, if I wanted to have a listing of all essential questions uh, for fourth grade, I can with just a couple of clicks have those all available to me. Here's the art ones, the Bible ones, uh, spelling, vocab, English, uh, math, science, and social studies and so forth. So um, really a nice report where you can really get at that curriculum data very, very quickly. You also have an admin tool where um, you have a lot more settings that you can enter um, and customize the software exactly to your specific needs. And then again, the help and support manual. So this gives you an idea of the TFT tools, those being the deep hopes and storylines and the associated factors, uh, artifacts, as well as the ability to design any unit, a flex for any one of your units. And then we also gave you an overview of the difference between the full version and the light version of Curriculum Track.